Hey folks, hope you guys are having a good Saturday. We're kind of going to try to get back into the flow of things. Streaming at 1 Central now instead of 1 Pacific. So a little bit earlier than I was streaming. Uh, office behind me is messy because we're still unloading lots of stuff. So not all that stuff is done being unloaded, obviously. Um, and we're not done with that. Had to spend time like buying bookshelves, putting them together, and then uh, putting stuff on the bookshelves. So uh, yeah, things are running a little bit different. It's kind of messy, so you get to enjoy the dog bed and some toys, a box of random junk. Should make it, should spend some time making it a little nicer, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so that's where we're at. Texas is treating me fine. Other than, you know, there's one of these things that happens like, you know, some of these old settings that like when it rains, it pours. So you end up with a lot of drama. I had, um, my cousin died last week. Um, he had a lot of problems and ended up like homeless and, uh, but it's still very unexpected that he, uh, he died. So my cousin died last week, um, which has been really, you know, really tough. I have an uncle who's uh, very ill as well. And so that happened about the same time. My father-in-law is very ill. So we have a lot of uh, just people in the extended family that bad things have happened to kind of everything at the same time. Um, which just makes like your own little minor things just not seem like that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Um, and it's that big of a deal when you think about it. It's like, oh, we had to buy some couches. It was definitely like a pretty hellish move as far as things go. But I mean, no move goes off like easy. Uh, unless you're one of those people. And I've, I've had some friends who were say in the Navy or in the army and their family moved like every six months or every year, which I can't imagine doing that. Like that would be, you have to adopt a certain lifestyle and be really committed to your marriage to be able to tolerate that. Hey pups, you gonna go sit in your bed? Here, I'll get the stuff. Um, yeah, I would not, having a family would sort of preclude a military career in the United States, at least for me. And I was just thinking about this the other day, and, and one of the reasons that you have, uh, the military moves people around, it's intentional, so that you can't have any loyalty to a commander or any loyalty to uh, your place of origin. There's no Virginia regiment, except for like National Guard units, right? So in the actual army, there's no standing army or no standing navy that uh, has any loyalty to people, it's loyalty to the imperial apparatus, it's loyalty to the federal government rather than any kind of um, interpersonal loyalty. And that was part of why the Civil War could happen is that you had um, a lot of people with loyalty to where they were from, not the army in general or something like that. So if you're constantly mixing people up and stopping them from making any permanent bonds with one another, then that is going to prevent the ability for uh, parts of the empire to wage a civil war or to rebel against uh, governance. So people wonder like, why is the army that way? It's like, that's an intentional arrangement so that uh, soldiers do not have any loyalty to where they are and they don't have any loyalty to a commander. Because like in the Roman Republic, eventually soldiers just ended up with their loyalty to a, a, a consul, to a general and no loyalty really to the Republic because it was the general that paid them. So if the general was going to start up a civil war, then they were gonna back their general. They weren't going to, you know, um, back the Republic or anything like that. So um, it's the same reason why Walmart managers have moved around. See, I didn't know that Walmart managers have moved around, but I also, I've known several clergy, I think in, not Lutheran, think Lutheran um, they got moved around all the time like by the higher ups they would just they'd have to move cities every couple of years so I guess you wouldn't have any tie downs to any specific place you know what I mean um, but yeah that's the way that's part of being if you want to be a career guy in the army like if I was going to do career army in the US Army I'd do 20, 20 years and out 
like join at 18, leave at 38, get your like retirement, and then you can have a second career. I've known several people that did that. Um, and they didn't really settle down. They didn't have a family until they were 40 because um, they just didn't want to. Like what's, it, it's really hard to try to maintain familiar bonds if you don't have an absolutely like ironclad 100% loyal woman. Like the amount of stories I've heard about wives cheating while the husband is deployed is just, I'm sure it's not as common as it seems, but when you hear people tell their stories, it's just like, man, this is awful. And it's like a new guy came back and like the, his wife had gained like a hundred pounds and like it was had some other guy living. He came back like as a surprise. It's like some other guy was living with her and like banging her. It's like, what? And so it's like immediately have to have a divorce. God, well, how awful that would be. Anyway, I know several guys that just, they did their 20 years, got their retirement and then had a family after that. Um, and I do have a friend whose husband is in the Navy and they've moved around for like 20 years now, you know. Uh, that's just crazy to me to be able to, to do that, especially with this move. Like this, has been, it's like people do this every year. Oh man, especially with a family and kids and all their crap. Oh my gosh. Um, my sister just left California. They were telling me about the train looting near LA. I hadn't heard about train looting, but there's other kinds of looting. You know, if you uh, if you were to take your GPS down the wrong road and you're in, driving through South LA, you could get have your truck get stopped and have everything get stolen out of it. Just like that, you know, it can happen. It's like a certain certain parts of LA are like driving through like some fallen city in West Africa. You know, it's like driving through Rwanda um, as far as like the danger level, because like even the police don't really. Like they do the minimum that they're required, but they always go in groups of four. You know, it's always a force because it's dangerous. It's just dangerous in some parts. There's like a triangle in LA. I'm trying to remember what freeways. We never would go in there because it was bad. I had to go in there one time to take like a, some portion, some GRE, some portion of the GRE, I think. Like math GRE or something. And you had to take it at this testing center and it was in, South LA by USC, but definitely in like USC is in a really bad part of town. Just so you know, um, I always thought the National Guard Special Forces sounded interesting. I think National Guard is really where it should be. It's a militia, you know. Militia has been this has been the way that you organize militaries for a long time, both in Europe and Asia and Africa and India. Um, which is to say you have people who live regular lives and then when you need an army, you raise the army from the militia. He even did this in Rome. Um, when you wanted to go on an expedition to Gaul or somewhere, you go raise the army from veterans in Rome and people who wanted to go on campaign with you who were farmers or you know did you know some other trade in Rome. Uh, they weren't just like career, um, there were no like career soldiers in Rome, in the Roman Republic at least. King Grand Theft Auto in LA, train looting. Yeah, I mean, where do you think they get the inspiration for Grand Theft Auto? It's from places like that. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is just, um, you know, South L.A. Grand Theft Auto, South L.A. There you go. I mean, although you do have, like, nicer parts mixed in there. All right. What do we want to play first? I have, some people were saying they like Jedi Fallen Order. I could play that. It'll be downscaled. I, I play it on, like, a 4K screen. I have this, like, giant 4K monitor in front of me. It's great absolutely great for productivity because you basically have the equivalent of four 1080p monitors right here so and then you could put a word document that's just like like you could see the whole document it's amazing um it's great for games too if you have the hardware to push 4k i was using this with my older computer it's like nah you got to do everything in 1080p because it's got an older video card um yeah, my frame rate on my camera seems a little low. I went back to like my webcam because even though the phone looks better, it's just not as reliable. It's like getting interrupts and like other weird things are happening. Whereas this Logitech 920, even though I have to go, I still have to do this. I have to go find um, like deprecated versions of the software in order to use it properly. Oh, now it looks better. Maybe because I closed the settings. I don't know. Uh, you have to find deprecated versions of the software to, uh, to get it to work right which is annoying. It's very reliable. Like it just, it will always connect and work and basically do what I need it to do. And I have to kind of put it up a little bit high. Oh, no. Hi, hi, tall person. 
because it's up above me. It's my first time playing Fallen Order. If it's Fallen Order, good or Final Fantasy VII. Uh, okay, yeah. Fallen. It's my, I bought it on sale a while back and didn't play it. I bought it to kind of play on my Steam Deck, and it runs on the Steam Deck. But it runs really good on a full computer, and it looks it looks pretty smashing. It's a really good game. Very fun. If if you like Souls games, it's kind of Souls light, not Souls like. People are billing it as a Dark Souls like. The the death penalty I think is a little soft. Um, it's more maybe more like a, a Ninja Theory, a Ninja game. What was it? Ninja Theory? That uh, like Neo, you know. Neo is a little harder, I would say. Or maybe like uh, the Stranger Paradise, which is really fun. I really recommend Stranger Paradise for people who like action-oriented games but maybe want more fantasy, really fantasy aesthetics and just some edge from the late aughts. Um, Stranger Paradise is a really fun game. So yeah, Jedi Order is pretty fun. <clears throat> I just bought a new 3080 Ti for 1000 which is $300 cheaper than they were last year. Oh, if you could get them last year. So the way that you could get them last year was if you wanted a 3080 or a 3090, you had to pay $2,500 for it. And maybe it came as a package in the motherboard. And you had to like maybe do like the Newegg lottery to get a chance to buy one or use bots to buy one. Um, otherwise, the street price was just outrageous. People were buying assembled computers in order to get the 3080 video card out of it and put it in a good computer. Um, you know, I, mine is a 3080 12 gig. So I got a 12 gig 3080, um, which is pretty sweet, I will say. Uh, and I got it for like $1,000 cheaper than it was last year. There were like $2,000 video cards last year. Yeah, Fallen Order, I, I, here's what surprises me about Fallen Order. It's it's Disney fan fiction. It like, it's leaning into the Disney flavor of fan fiction. But it just does it so much better than Disney has done any other fan fiction. Probably because Disney didn't do it. The other one was EA did it. I'm like, this is an EA game? I'm used to EA like turning good games into crap. And this was like, no, nah, no, nah, it's a good game. They actually did a good game and it's a single player game without a bunch of multiplayer. They used to force in multiplayer. Like Mass Effect 3 had this forced multiplayer mode you had to play in in order to like unlock one of the endings. And this, from what the dev said is like, oh yeah, this EA was came from above and said, you have to put in multiplayer. Every game has to have multiplayer. This was like 10 years ago now at this point. I mean, it was a long time ago. But yeah, their whole attitude was every game has to have multiplayer. You cannot ship a game without multiplayer because because that's how we get kids want multiplayer. And that's also how you can uh, monetize like microtransactions and things like that as you use multiplayer to do that, like loot boxes and stuff, you know. Uh, so yeah, I was really surprised. It is, a, and it it's, I feel like Star Wars fan fiction games have always been a little bit better than fan fiction comics and books. Now, before you impale me on a stake about that, it, it that's just the way it's panned out. Things like Dark Forces were really good and the books from the 90s were very hit and miss and some of the comics were really stupid. So I'll just say that, right? Like it is fan fiction, but they really lean into it and they, uh, they I think you have a feel like a more freedom to do what you want to do in the game. It's kind of like Kodor. Knights of the Old Republic was a just a, a really fantastic piece of fan fiction. It was just amazing. And they took the best parts of it and were inspired by it and were able to do their own thing with it. Um, that's why I'm very skeptical that a remake of Knights of the Old Republic is actually going to be good. It's not going to cap. It's like, let's, it's like if they were to remake Morrowind. You can't remake Morrowind. Like you can remake it, it won't be Morrowind though. Because it, all the little things that make up that game are, are part of why that game is so good. It's not just, um, you know, it's not just the fact that it's Marlin, uh, is my point here. So, anyway, what should we play first? We can play Marlin if we want. We've been playing a little Marlin in 4K, like open Marlin, so we can check that out. It won't look right because I'm downscaling to 1080p, but it looks really good on my, like the UI is like tiny. Like, look, look, look. But you can also see things really far away where because they're like, you know, oh, uh, I, get, I think that's a zombie over there. You know, my um, 
Did you play the newer Old Republic? Oh, yeah, I played... Well, I played through Old Republic, the MMO, when it was in beta, and I really thought it was not good. <laughs> I didn't like it very much at all. I thought it was pretty cringy and just wasn't very fun to play at all. Um, other people like it. Um, I, obviously, they've been... It's been live and patching for a long time now. The main thing I hated about it is I hated the aesthetic of it. The, the way that the game looked to me just was awful. I just thought it looked gross. The, it was something about the way the characters were lit. They just looked absurd and stupid. Um, so I really hated the aesthetics of the game to the point where I really didn't want to play it just because of how ugly it looked. And then um, I just didn't really enjoy the gameplay or the story, the quote, the story very much. There really wasn't any your story. It, it was just a kind of layering single player RPG stuff on top and frankly Final Fantasy if you were going to do that in 2022 Final Fantasy 14 just does that a million times better than Tor did in my opinion but if you have time to do both I guess you could do like play the single player campaigns for both and they're not bad um Kodor was thousands of years before the movies they could tell any story they wanted the time gap didn't have to tie into the movies at all yeah and if you look at it it's like it really doesn't fall in order really doesn't have to tie into the movies at all either it's it's just a ripe little period right after episode three where you could just tell whatever fan fiction stories you wanted and it would be just i don't know a lot of fun um a lot of fun to do that kind of stuff so um i don't know what we'll play <clears throat> Let's play some Fallen Order just for fun, and then we'll play some Final Fantasy and get my, hopefully my controller here will work. Let's, let's get it going here. Um, I have so many Steam games, I actually have to like search the game. And, uh, oh, I need to set up a hotkey, give me a second. Hotkey, hotkeys. Um, transition. Let's do do shift. Oh. Okay. Wait, did that? All right. Do that one. Okay. Let's check it. It works. Perfect. All right. Let's um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this and see if it runs here. This one's always been wanting to launch like behind the behind the background. Origin. We got to connect to Origin to make this work. And I think I, I don't have my I had my other monitor hooked up here, but it's not turning on. Wait, hold on. Maybe I can turn this on. No, maybe I don't have a clip there. Is it not plugged in to the power strip? What did I do with it? Oh, here's the, here's the, yeah, the charger's not plugged in. All right, I got a solution to this right. We're gonna we're gonna be getting very advanced here. Will you plug in? Here we go. All right. HDR, I like that. Hold on, let me get back to this. Okay. Now can I? Place. Ah, we'll just roll with it. I don't need to see all that stuff. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it up on my phone. Continue. Is this working? Did I lose connection with my computer? Lovely. I 
love it when everything works exactly as planned. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me see here. Where's my Bluetooth? Go to settings. Otherwise, I get my PlayStation 5 controller, and we'll get that going. We'll just plug it in. Yeah, it's like, nah, I don't feel like working. On the games backlog subject, I wonder if there's something to be said for that, I'm comparing it to the kids who have a lot of toys. You get choice paralysis basically because of how many choices. Yeah, I can absolutely see that. Well, this is not connected, so let's go to the easy. Microsoft, you said you'd make PC gaming easy, but you have not. You have made it hard. There we go. It's just all the button prompts are going to be... Uh, all the button prompts are going to be like Xbox button prompts. The <laughs> incorrect ones, but we'll use a dual shot. Where was I? I think I'm on the second planet here. What did I do? Oh, yeah, I just killed this thing. That's fun. Yeah. Look when you do the force at nothing. Oh! <laughs> All right. I think we get some. Uh, Cutscenes here. And. I think that's it. Alright. Here we go. Alright. So next. So we did Zepho, Kashyyyk, and Bogano, and Dathomir. Let's go to uh, Kasha. Alright, honey bun. Go get it. Go get it. Main objective. Is there a main objective? I don't really have a map. All right. Kashyyyk. All right, how do we go there? Oh no, Kit traveled the planet, obviously. It's got the travel the planet button. Mm, me too. Which I have to remember. Why can't they all use Nintendo? Right? Like, why does it have to be. Um, why did Xbox have to reverse X and Y like that? Pull up chat on my phone, because that works. Yeah. Green lightsaber. You know, I have an orange lightsaber, because I guess I have some kind of like premium edition of this game. But my son wanted uh, the green one, because uh, he likes green better than uh, other colors. I'm going to put the orange back on. What I really want is that aqua blue one from Knights of the Old Republic that you can get at the end of the game. That, that one was really cool. I'm going to put 
put orange back on. Here we go. Color. Premium content. That's right. Guys, it's the, it's the DLC color. Look at it. Beautiful. The DLC color. How's the local wildlife treating you? Well, we had a frog in the house last night. We've had some geckos. Uh, apparently Mediterranean house geckos, which like to live in your house. Uh, we got a snake the other day, and um, there's deer at the back fence. Uh, I saw a giant possum last night that I was very, uh, very surprised to see because he was big. At first, I thought it was a big fat cat, and it was no, it was a gigantic possum. Music in this game is very good. My neighbors keep complaining about armadillos. Should put on subtitles, huh? I don't need another set ahead. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. Right. Alright. I'm gonna play this with headphones. I don't see anything. No way. Turn out the monitors. There we go. Stop the sound bleeding a bit. I just got my wife the same headphones. These D seven seven. What are these? D T seven seventies. D T seven seventy Pro. These are really good headphones. They're really comfortable to wear for a long time. Those Wookiees are always enslaved. The Wookiees are constantly enslaved. It's the tree from Dragon Quest XI. Yeah, it's, there's there's some like Star Wars formulation here too, which is like you got to have a cute sidekick droid, you got to have a, you know, you got to have a someone with a lightsaber, you got to have a ship with kind of like a wisecracking captain. You got to have all those things. Pretty rad. Whoa! That was rad. You want to check this out, Ron? I'm streaming, but you can come in. You can come in if you want. Here. I'll turn on the turn on the sound. Let me check this game out. It's uh HDR output is off. We want it on. I figured out dynamic resolution scaling was causing this this game to stutter a bunch. I don't know why, but like it, would, it would just like stutter. It's really weird. I think it turned it off because I hooked another monitor up. Turn that monitor off. I'm not using it. Okay. Let's see here. Audio. Is there a... Uh, Studio reference, that's correct. Uh, yeah, I like that tempo level. 
Disable button mashes and quick time events. That's cool that there's that. I really should turn that on because I hate quick time events. <laughs> I think they're stupid. Subtitles, there we go. Alright. Here we go. Oh yeah, it looks way better in HDR. Look at that. It's the walkers. They got some walkers back there. Let's swim a little bit here. I'm not sure what I'm. I, I, I'm gonna swim to the robots because it looks like that's what they want me to do. But I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do past that. Oh yeah, we gotta uh, we gotta climb. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta climb up this beep beep boop. <laughs> they have the beep beep boop. Uh, okay. Can I jump over that way? I guess not. Beep beep boop. Maybe we can climb up the other side. Let's try the other side. Maybe this one has like a little easier jump. Why are they all covered in vines? There we go. There we go. See, this is kind of fun. You know, it's got this little Breath of the Wild thing. Like, we've got to have some like climbing mechanics in this game. That's what they start you with is the climbing mechanics. Very Whoa! It's falling off. Mommy's trying to get your attention. Oh, me? Oh. Let's finish this. All right, what do I need to do here? Nice, BD. Go around to the front? Or what do I do? Okay, go right to the front. No, this side. Oh, I see. Maybe let me climb up here. That was fun. Very good aesthetics. Uh, what do I do? Must be something. That, do I chop some stuff? Oh, there's a speeder. What am I doing here? Oh, okay, I thought, man, I thought I was gonna get to ride a speeder here. You know, I've gotta crawl through some corridors. Gotta time those, uh, time the attacks. Oh, he killed me! He killed me! Respawn. I wonder if it makes you do like the whole climbing thing again. I haven't played this in a couple days, so I'm pressing like the wrong buttons to block. Oh no, it doesn't it doesn't really send you back very far. I'm just kinda send you back this way. Alright. That's fine. Flawless. Flawless victory. It's all about that parry. Look at that. That looks cool. Alright, what do I do here? Alright, press this. We're gonna go into the cockpit. Extract. They're wearing helmets. That wouldn't work. But that worked. <laughs> that actually worked. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay, now I get to I get to to shoot some lasers, right? Left stick, hold forward to move. And there we go. Blow up the leg. Or maybe I can blow up the head. There we go. Sweet. Alright, is there another one? The music's really good too. Wait, like. It's not too bad. Okay, I can kill like. Oh, I see what we're doing here. Kill this guy right here. Oh, he's gonna jump in. I'm gonna have to fight him. Is that what it is? I'm not sure who I'm supposed to kill here. Are there some bad guys? Oh, yeah. Which ones are the bad guys? I'm guessing that's a bad guy. Alright. Hey, it's the guy from Rogue One. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. We're basically on the implanting. That's a fun little. Would my Empire support? Copy that. Fun little uh, cameo. There's a little walker. Kill that stormtrooper. That one lone stormtrooper is like standing his ground. Are there more bad guys? Where are the bad guys? Oh, they're down here. All right. Any more bad guys around? All oh, right, there. Oh, ooh, we can blow up this the Tie Fighter. There we go. Blow up that Tie Fighter. I'm running out of shields. There's actually quite a bit of fun here. Look at that. Is it going to get away? Or can I like blow it up? I didn't even see it. That's pretty fun. Good old cute robots. Check the. Uh, let's check the sound levels real quick. All right. It's probably okay. I do like that there's like HD rumble going on in this thing too. It's pretty cool.
The games direct dot is really low by the way. That's great. Thank you. I couldn't see the the chat. The chat wasn't wasn't showing up in the YouTube chat on my like app for some reason. The gameplay alone was better than all the Star Wars sequel trilogy's best moments combined. Yeah, it was really fun. And it was just like, it, the thing is, is that it's not even standard gameplay. It's like, you know, it'd be cool. Like the developer was like, you know, it'd be cool. We should have a, we should, we should have him like get in a walker and blow everything up in a walker. And it's like, can we do that? It's like, let's just do it. And they did it, you know, like older game design just used to include a lot of um, just stuff that devs thought was cool. Uh, yo, you get in this vehicle and blow this up, you know, rather than, uh, you know, rather than uh, just do the same thing over and over again. Yeah, it's more Assassin's Creed style climbing. You're right. You're right. But since Breath of the Wild, I feel like every game wants to include it. Like I will play Genshin Impact and it's like it's very clear they want a Breath of the Wild climbing, which is really just Skyward Sword climbing or Assassin's Creed climbing. That's a really good point. Shadow of the Colossus sci-fi version. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna turn up the I'm gonna turn up the game volume a little bit because obviously it's like blasting in my ears, but I don't quite know where it is for you guys, so I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Alright. Glad you're alright. Yeah, yeah, good to see you too. This place is a dump. Your plan worked. And now you want to follow Saul. You don't? You don't like that idea? I'm concerned you're jumping from one risk to the next. Wait, what? I fly my ship in the middle of a battlefield, and now we're talking about risks? Why didn't you stop me? My job is to guide you on your path, not choose it for you. So here's my advice. The Empire's overtaken hundreds of worlds. There's a reason Saw chose the sheep. Saw's goals may not be the same as ours. We should be careful. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, that scene was so loud. If if I had had it like maxed, it, it wouldn't been able to like talk. Which maybe that's ideal. Maybe I should shut up and just like play the game. Hey, look, here's a Wookie. Can I talk? I was hoping to find some news of Tarful at the refinery. A report came in this morning that he's been seen in the Shadowlands. It's a shaved head girl. Look at her float. It's a fun little. Look at her. Oh, there she goes. She's melting. <laughs> As if there are hundreds of those in the area. Stormtroopers. Look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chewbacca, what's up, dude? There she goes. She's melting! <laughs> I don't mind. This is actually a really good looking game. It's just, you know. She's in no condition to fight. Sometimes there's little glitches, dude. It's how it works. You're right. There's no time. Stay like her head's not really attached to her back. body over there. Which is funny. At least these NPCs don't have full Square Enix NPC, like background character mode, where like they just look all, uh, like really awful with giant heads compared to the, uh, you know, the actual characters. Hey, what you find, buddy? Let's scan it. It's a little droid. It's that droid that gets his feet burned in Return of the Jedi. It's called a Gonk Droid. EG6 Power Droids, also known as Gonk Droids, service portable power generators. In mobile operations or in situations lacking a stable power source. Which makes sense why they why you would torture them in Jabba's thing. They are utilized by civilians and military alike, often emitting a low honking noise that sounds like the word GONK. Buggy games. That's all games now. I used to live there before the Empire came. Do you know it? Yeah, I've been. Yeah. These NPCs kind of have the unreal... Uh, but here with the Wookiees, we have a chance. Thank I'm going to call it uh, Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to call it like the Unreal Engine 4 face. Like, look at her. So it's just, it, there's this thing, and, and it, it it's definitely the case with um, Final Fantasy VII Remake is you could see the stock, the kind of stock human models. Look, there she goes, melting through the floor. Ah! 
time. Um, here, let me back up so you can see it. Like the stock human models have this kind of wax-like appearance and their heads are always too big. Like, look how big her head is. And it's made to look kind of realistic, but um, you notice his head's smaller compared to his body. This is a more heroic, it has to do with artistic proportions, if you ever study that. He has a more heroic uh, body, set of body proportions. Even though he looks young and not particularly big, he his head is still like eight heads tall instead of six and a half. These ones just look weird, right? And you see this with all the background NPCs just have a very strange look to them. They just look all a little off. Like their heads don't quite attach right. Like the idle animations are a little weird. They don't look at anything in particular. They just kind of stare off into space in a weird way. Whereas like the the actual NPCs look really lifelike. It's, it's just a weird contrast between the two. Obviously an older game has much worse NPCs that are always staring off into space in very weird ways, but, you know, it, it just, in a hyper-realistic, uh, you know, photorealistic kind of setting, it just looks weird. These specialized Imperial flamethrowers have been modified to more effectively incinerate Cassius wildlife. Ooh, sweet. So I, should be at the other end of this I need one of those for, for Texas. I need to incinerate the wildlife. Hey, bud. Can I not kill you? Great. I do like the um, the map. Like, you can look at this map. The map looks cool. You can, like, zoom around. It's a cool map. Let's check out the Appreciate over the map. There. Could be something useful. All right. Thanks. Oh! I forgot which button was B. It's off of me. Oh, it's okay. Oh my gosh. a different force ability. There we go. We'll just cheese it with the force. How are the home prices in Texas versus California? Depends where you're at. If you're in Austin, they're really comparable. Depending, I mean, it depends where you're comparing California. Central California and Austin, it's like pretty much one to one. If you're going Southern California to anywhere in Texas, you're gonna, it's, it's Texas is way, 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 way cheaper. If you're going Central California or like kind of Inland Empire, to like Austin, it's probably comparable or like you can, it's cheaper. You know, we're in the Houston-ish area and uh, we we were able to get something comparable for um, about 30% less, I'd say. Um, so, you know, we have a pretty big house and we, but we got it like a huge lot. Like our lot in California was like just around the house. Now it's like a half acre lot. So you get a lot more depending on where you go. The more rural you go in Texas, the more money, uh, the more you're going to get for your dollar as far as space and house and all that kind of stuff. And the more urban you go and the more towards Austin. Austin's really hot. I don't know why. People really want to live in Austin, in the Austin area. I'm not, I think it's because the weather. Like Austin has good weather. It has like, it has weather that's very comparable to Central California. It's very Mediterranean. Um, So yeah, I think maybe people like it because it's more like Central California. Whereas here, it's really humid. It's really humid down on the Gulf Coast. It's really humid in East Texas. Um, you know, we're talking like 100 degrees, 70% humidity. <laughs> Please leave your wildfires in calm before. Nothing would burn here, dude. It's too wet. It's too wet. 
<laughs> it's too wet. The reason you have wildfires in California is that it, it gets really dry during the summer. Really dry. There's no rain. How much current can you conduct? Like all the rain happens in winter. Well, with this transformer, I bet you can short circuit Imperial Tech. I'm going to give him a transformer. I, I could tell who wrote this dialogue doesn't know what a transformer does. Oh, no, maybe not. He can put, just put more juice into it. BD-1 can now turn machinery on and off. Hey, BD-1. Just checking on you. Boop. Overcharge. Let's try it. What did that do? Oh. Oh, my. Well, that's electric now. How do I get over there to, like, that point? Oh, it's going back and forth. I'm guessing that's, like, a little zip line thing. If I can get over there and climb. Let's find out. Maybe I gotta get it over here. Hmm. Because we can climb up here. No, I don't think they, they go there because it's a democratic stronghold. Like, people don't move, didn't move to L.A. because it was a democratic stronghold. They didn't like the politics of L.A. Like, there was nothing likable about the politics of L.A. Um, really at all. So why, is, why did people move to L.A.? They moved to L.A. because there were other things there that they wanted, and they happened to be urban people which get... You know, become leftists. Gonna need help. Like the more time you spend in an in an urban environment, the more time that you spend in universities or public schools, the more likely you are to uh, end up with those political proclivities. That's available now. Okay, we'll go that way. wall jumping. It's fun. There we go. Alright. There we go. Oh, it like blows up. Beep boop boop. Check it out. I'm looking. The flame beetle. Airborne pest with a flammable posterior will spontaneously combust in close proximity upon death. Well, that's cool. All right. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was close. There we go. Nice to see you streaming again. Thanks for dropping by. Weekend's off to a good start. I got all my guitars back. Not all, most of them. From my mom's house, so. They refined the sap into a powerful compound, and they rushed it to expand production. 
They're being mean to Wookiees. Kick the dog. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we've recovered proves it. There you go, bud. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction. While you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. You hear that? Said he needs my help. Come on, buddy. Free the Wookiees. New objective. Alright, I guess I can go through here. My force push. Go along here. Imperial refinery. <laughs> These Wookiees deserve it. Meditate. We have some skills. You can pick a skill here. Powered slow. Forced enhanced forced recovery. What's this? Agile deflection. Automatically deflects blaster bolts while he's sprinting or wall running. So that seems pretty good too. But I think this like force recovery will be really useful. Alright. Yes, responds the enemies. Leave this little witcher like meditation area. Alright, now. Go down here. Knock that down. Some stormtroopers. One of the cutters turned on. Are they running some kind of drill? Maybe. Think we should call it in? Will that be a breach of protocol? There's a disturbance. Their squad should call it in. Yeah. Better do this by the book. Yep. You see something? It's the Jedi. Move up! Focus your fire! Oh, we got this guy. Just spam this button, I think it knocks their little blaster bolts back. Can I go in here? Locked. Oh! Kill R2! Alright. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Alright. He's gonna get me! He's gonna get me! Yeah. All right. What kind of guy is this? What kind of guy is this? All right. So they had it. They hit a little guy there. That was cool. Take a look at my map. Alright. Could I go this way? What happens if I go this way? There's something over there. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. There's a ledge here, so let's get on this ledge first. <laughs> What is this? 
Oh, there's a meditation spot. Why? Why? I'll rest, why not? Respawn the guys. Just stood there and let his friends die. That was really funny. Yeah, there's uh, there's some guys here. Like, what is the point of this ledge? Does, is there a secret over here? Like, why did I stop and meditate? This is like really dumb of me. Maybe you can get up there and jump across too. Let's see a way though. Kill these guys again. It's a save. It's a it's a save point because there's a little mini boss here, mid boss. Okay. Electro Staff Purge Trooper. Sounds really silly. Like, let's make him scarier and blacker. But it's funny, he looks like a CG, like one of the CG Stormtroopers from the 90s. Alright, gotta go through the, the air conditioning system like an alien. We'll get to a save point and then we'll we'll we've done this game for a bit. We'll go do uh, we'll do some Final Fantasy seven. Tight fit, huh, BD? Yeah, if he flashes red, you can't block his attack. You gotta dodge. So he just kind of telegraphs what it's gonna do. It's kind of helpful. Um, Scomplic must be repaired to act this. Jedi, fight us. Whoa, guy with the flamethrower. Just you and me. Gotta do that. Flame trooper. <laughs> That's what it's in. It's called flame trooper. Uh, find paths that outmaneuver the trooper. go that way. I guess I can go this way. Alright. Here we go. We've got some climbing here. You sure you want to plug into this thing? Okay. That's fine. A shortcut. That's why you wanted to move this thing. You had no idea that was there, did you? You just wanted to turn that cutter on. 
Anything over here? I could climb here, but I don't see anything. So it's probably just there for decoration. another save point. Yeah. Yeah, they're killing the spider when I'm gonna meditate. Meditate for a bit. Dare you kill the spiders at this round? Maybe I shouldn't have hit him. <laughs> That's right. Kill them all. Hey now. So what was in there? A new light dune dunium. Dunium. BD1, over here. Okay. What? 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 See, I kind of like this. This is kind of like the, the Dragon Age, uh, what was it called? You click on stuff and you could get a little a little write-up about it. Sap barrels. Um, distill a volatile chemical. The compound is utilized by the Empire in ways that are currently not understood. For every barrel of sap refined, over 200 tons of industrial waste are pumped into nearby waterways, slowly poisoning the planet. I'm going to get Captain, Captain Planet up in here. Every evil empire has to poison every planet. There's always more planets. Alright. I feel like maybe they wanted me to look down here. Is there something down there? I don't see anything. Just like a tree root. The Dragon Age Codex. That's that's correct, James. You're right. So you could just like read up on the little things in the universe, you know. Still alive in there? So far. Almost to the prison. Good. Imperial distress calls are going out across the planet. If you don't get the prisoners soon. We can do this. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Of course the Empire needs to be anti anti-environment. Not not just like wasteful. They have to actively hate the environment. That's how you know that they're really evil. So this way is blocked. That's not moving. Um, we have to get across here somehow. Oh, oh, there's a little precarious pipe here. Okay. 
This dude is fearless. Like he just walks on these precarious pipes. Oh, I see. They they put a sneaky one there. <laughs> How does the combat feel? It feels pretty good. Just finished playing Origins a few weeks ago. Dragon Age Origins is one of my favorite games of all time. It's an exceptionally well done RPG. And a great story. Needs power. This needs power. Alright, well let's find the power. I've got the power. Shortcut unlocked. Alright. Guards. Right. Cool music right here. Well, music cue. I do like the music cues. That's a good touch. Reminds me of the really old Star Wars games. Hey, we're here to free you. Not alone. Oh, it's this robot. Or it's the same time. A lot, of, a lot of Rogue One references. We've got a character from Rogue One. Oh no, he's got me! What's going on here? I don't want to look at the map. Let's see here. Ah, you gotta hit him and then like dodge that attack. So he does like this uh, red attack. It's here. You gotta dodge that. I got it down. Oh, dodge! No! 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 Put me down! Dodge that. Still resisting. Unwise. Yeah. There we go. Security droid defeated. What's this? I can't stand Wub Wub sound design in Star Wars. Security droid. Heavily built and easy to read. They are highly susceptible to parrying. Dragon Age Origins. Shame they never made a sequel. <laughs> they did. It was called Dragon Age Origins Awakening. It was a full-size expansion, guys, and it was good. Glad to help. It throws you so that you can make mistakes when you're playing. <laughs> this is why. Rather than squeezing you to death. One of my favorite things about Demon Souls, like the original Demon Souls, is like you run up against a demon and it just kills you. And you're like, what happened? And like that's the that's the first boss in the in the game is like a giant demon that just one shots you. It's apparently it's possible to kill that demon. People have done it, but like 
I just loved it that it was just like, it just killed you, and then you're like, nope, you can never go back there. Until way later. <laughs> you just... Oh, I guess I... I guess I was supposed to die. Break the bones. Point. I can go this way. All right, now I'm guessing I gotta. Okay, we gotta do this. This guy is quite the acrobat. But I mean, he is a Jedi. Jedi are pretty athletic, right? Saw's up ahead. We must be close. See what we can do with this guy. We're pushing them back. Keep it up. Almost got it. Take that. Alright. Can I get over there? No. No, I can't. But it's treasure. Alright. Can I like run and jump? Nope. I don't know how to get that treasure, guys. I don't like treasure that I can't get. Let's go, BD1. Hey, what did he find there? I think I need help with this. Okay. I'm guessing we're gonna have to stop it like in halfway. There we go. That'll work. They made a worse stronghold system in Inquisition. They did. Hey, one. Yeah, they should have made Awakening Dragon Age 2. I agree. Well, it, it was like the trend at the time. They wanted to go Mass Effect mode for whatever reason. And it uh, it was like the complete opposite of the way Dragon Age Origins felt, where like you made a unique character and experienced like a unique story. Uh, oh, okay. So unfortunately, you know, and then Dragon Age Awakening, it had like real, uh, felt like an expansion of the basic gameplay ideas rather than uh, you know, something totally new. Dragon Age uh, 2 felt like they simplified the basic gameplay ideas and uh, it's like you lost gameplay. Rather than having like an expansion and refinement of gameplay, you just, the gameplay was just less. There was just less tactics, everything, less everything. Less tactics, less everything for the gameplay. How I do this here. Go here. Hmm. Let's go, BD one. It's a little puzzle here. Little bit of a puzzle. Can't push it. Oh yeah, we just uh, we got to have it turning, and we just stop it. That does the trick. Run over here and do this whole thing right here. Here. All back to the prisons. Still don't know how you get that treasure. Maybe you gotta jump from that ledge up there. There we go. Oh. Some 
prison Wookiees. We're on our way. Refinery cells. <sighs> Wookiee workers are chained together with no privacy, often covered in mud or dangerous industrial we byproducts. We won't leave you. To the prisons. We need the Wookiees to finish this. Hurry! They've got reinforcements! Go, go, go! The door's jammed! Long bunch, we're trapped! Get these cells open! It's hard to track! He's gonna wipe us out! How's he blocking everything? With my lightsaber! You, if you were smart, you'd run away. Now I gotta fight one, another one of these guys. Sudden movement, unforeseen. You will regret that. Ooh, that was full. Cut him in half. Inquisition had too much MMO feel and design and real world timing issues. Yeah. You often had to wait six real hours for a mission to be done. It was so stupid. They had a garrison garrison mission table in a single player game. Oh man, that was so dumb. Wait, can I go this way? Uh, I don't think I can. Says that's the objective. This is, is this the objective? He's here. All right, how do I help you, dude? I see you through the window. Ah, there we go. Beep, boop, boop, beep. The Wookiees are free! Now, I think I can go back on this ledge, maybe, and get that item. I'm wondering, can I get over to that ledge? I gotta go through here, maybe? It's nothing but fire. I'm sure it's nothing important. I don't think I can, like, wall jump over Aha! That's how you do it, boys. You gotta pipe climb through this uh, cloud of smoke. Ooh, ooh, we get a, like a skill point here, too. An echo! He got what was coming to him. He got what was coming to him. <laughs> hey. What was in there? <coughs> New mantis job paint job acquired, bounty hunter. <coughs> I think I like the premium content. Gold. <laughs> okay, jumping back is apparently not a big deal. All right, but now I got to do all this stuff to get back up there. Okay. Come here, BD1. I'm out of life. Go slower, Stu. This 
got to be a save point. I meant to stop at a save point already, but I was having fun playing this game, so I didn't do that. It doesn't make any sense. It made sense in like maybe Demon Souls. It's just a gameplay element. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Like, why would the stormtroopers respawn after you kill them? They wouldn't. Am I going the right way? Well, we'll find out, won't we? I think there's a stormtrooper here. Nope. Charge. Well, what did that do? Just did it open the door? Maybe. There's a safe. point. Yeah, you can grind out some skill points. Rest. Some of these uh, require two skill points, so. Let's do that force push. We could push multiple enemies. There we go. That can be helpful, hopefully. All right. And where do we go from here? Where do we go? Oh, that has power now, so we can go that way. I think I said I would stop, but I feel like I might be towards the end here. Like, right? This is the this is the objective. So maybe this is like the end of this little mission. Right here. Hard to track, I'm right in front of you. Hey, ready, buddy? Jedi! We don't have the firepower to breach this hole. We're on it. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Let's try to be good at this game. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Oh, and then you get to fight a walker too. Okay, there's a little boss fight here. Should we try again? We'll try it, we'll try one more time. The like super slow robot, there's no excuse for me to die to that. Like to me there's nothing wrong with fan fiction. It's just things need to be upfront with what they are. You know? Saying that you are declaring saying declaring thyself to be the creator is when you aren't is not not cool. No! Okay, I got this. I got 
I like how whenever you hear the, the stormtrooper talk, it's just it's weird. Come down, right? And you shoot a drop a walker on me. Or not. Alright, here's the here's the music cue, right? Alright. This guy wasn't that bad. Like I, I killed one on the other planet and it and it surprisingly wasn't that hard to kill. Oh, I got shocked by his mind! If you, if you knock those back at him, it like blows him up. Blow him up a little bit. There he goes. Okay. You get a little cutscene here. Yeah, cool. Yay! I just spilled coke all over myself. Everyone! These have been hard years. We've lost I wonder if they actually got Forrest Whitaker to do this voice. Or if it's just someone doing a Forrest Whitaker impression. To the Empire. Dark times. And yet the fire still burns. Hope! Still burns. Listen, guys. Forrest Whitaker can be in movies, and he's got that that weird left eye. We We're gonna make it. Yet lost. Kashyyyk is not yet lost. For the course. I think that's technically incorrect, friends. Yeah, they're journeyman riders' rooms. That's a great way of putting it. These stories are playing out all over the galaxy. My partisans could use a Jedi on our side. I'm honored. We have our own mission I can't walk away from. Not yet. The offer stands. Keep it in mind. Cal, I'm Mari Kosan. And this is Commander Choisek. Uh, sorry, I'm not quite fluent. Choisek says he'll do whatever he can to find Tarful and vouch for you. Do you think he's still alive? Have faith, Cal. We'll be in touch with your ship. For the cause. Alright. Now, I think... Let's see, that went... I think I could actually do more exploring here. Uh, as you see, this is available now. So <clears throat> at the end of any of these, you have the option to like go back and do more exploring and find more stuff. <clears throat> um, see, there's like a green door here that you could take and you can see these are available and unexplored. So every planet you can come back and do like some more exploring. Um, but I think we're gonna just for the purposes of the stream, like call it here. How's Houston treating you? It's okay. It's been hot, but it's been fun. I've had a lot of fun entering, you know, going out in the someone. woods and playing around, find, you finding skeletons. Nothing unites people like tragedy. 
Everything the Have you been to a Bucky's? No. Only makes us stronger. Each injustice spurs others to join our cause. If we stand together, we can win. Just like today. Thank you. Yeah, so like journeyman writers rooms, that's really what it is. It's 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 people who've never really written a book or they don't really know what they're doing. They like maybe went to a university and then they end up in a writing room getting paid 25 grand. They get paid like nothing, by the way, guys. Writers are paid almost nothing in Hollywood. It's part of why writing is so bad. It's like anyone who's really good, you know, like George R. R. Martin, who I don't even consider good, but he's successful and I think he's a good writer. Um, you know, he's going to make more money just doing whatever he wants to do, not showing up in a writer's room. Like writer's rooms are for people that really don't know what they're doing yet. You really have to go out and do it, I think, to get to become a good writer. I think you have to, to go out and uh, try writing a book, doing it yourself, you know? Then you're going to be able to write things for for uh, other people better. You know Tarful? He was part of Tarful's crew, but got captured on a mission. Tarful couldn't risk more warriors to save him. He spent months in that refinery. Yeah, I mean, you can just call it what it is, which is fan fiction, and enjoy it as fan fiction. That's all I can ask. Stories made by people who want to like write something in the Star Wars universe. It's not like official Star Wars. It's not the same thing as what George did, and just have it be that. I've been monitoring Imperial communications, and I picked up something. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII and other stuff is in the title. I'll do Final Fantasy VII in a minute. But uh, I've had a couple people like say they enjoyed watching streams of this game. I think because it's fairly cinematic. Be okay. Always looking on the bright side, huh? Hey. Uh Thanks. All right. For everything. So we'll we'll get to our save point and. That'll be like a whole little adventure we did on stream. How fun is that? It's like a little nice episode of a movie on the, you, with someone who's bad at playing a game. Commenting the whole time. We know you couldn't find Tarful. I love risking our lives for nothing. It's fantastic. It wasn't for nothing. Mari and Choisik will come through. I like your optimism. We could all use a little of that now and then. Hey, I'm a positive guy too. I'm positive that if I die, I'll be very upset. You did good, Cal. We might not have found Tarful yet, but you saved lives today. Don't forget that. Thanks. All right. I can look at these all day. Yeah, but you're not going to because that's boring. Isn't there? A, here's a little. We'll save our game right here. This weekend is my wife and I's anniversary, but y'all ever come ever come down to Corpus, let us know. Alright. Yeah, Corpus Christi's cool. My uncle used to live there. Now he lives up in Tyler. Um, I gotta I'll be in the Dallas area next week. Um, yeah, I'll be in Dallas next week. So no stream next week. Or I might do it Friday instead. Um, for a funeral. So be if my cousin died last week. So I'll be at his funeral and, and all that kind of stuff next week. All right. I think that's going to be it for this game for today. Put to your desktop. Boom. Did it work? Right. See me there a little bit. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the next one hooked up. It's a pretty fun game. It's a pretty fun game, all things considered. Um, surprisingly good for Disney, like Disney Wars, Disney era stuff. Let's find Vita. Logitech. Where's my Vita? Here it is. Let's plug it in, plug it in.
adrenaline here. Check out our audio options here. Sound settings. Let's go here. Uh, recording. Good. There we go. There it goes. All the way to the bottom here. Final Fantasy 7. There it goes. Disappear. This. Sony Computer Entertainment presents. Talked to my cousin in a long time, um, except on like social media and stuff. He, uh, this is way loud. Let's turn that down a bit. There we go. He, uh, he had a lot of problems. He had uh, problems with mental illness, like he may have had schizophrenia, um, and uh, basically ended up homeless, uh, which is pretty awful. Uh, you know, no one wants that to happen to their kid or their family member. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't remember we're supposed to give a guy a potion. Where can we move to now? where I need to go after we like the plate fell down you see the guy who grinded a level 99 and make a reactor I did I think I saw I think I saw like a cyber shell like rundown video on it that's what I saw um, I think that's what I saw Have you seen the digital clock that resembles the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII? I have not. No, you know, I think I did see it. It was fun, whatever. I have a, I have a big foam Buster Sword. It's in my son's room, we play with it. Big shot. Steel. Looks like I'm looking at the camera the whole time. I feel that the Buster Sword was like heavily influenced by the Dragon Slayer, though. You know, by the by Guts's sword. Wait, we just came this way. I think. 
Yeah, I think we just came this way. So we gotta go to the right. It's been a while, sorry. I haven't played in the last one. I need to like stream this game more often so I can remember what I'm doing. Like, I don't know why, I, you know, to me, it's like, can you grind to level 99? I'm like, can you automate that so that you don't have time, you don't have to see what that does? Just like automate it so it, you don't have to sit around clicking things. There's the little kids. Uh, where I'm taking care of the um, flowers for the um, lady here. Is that okay? I don't mind. He grinded to level 99 in the original version. Just in the very first level. On a PlayStation 1. Hooked up to a TV. So like we're talking like original hardware and everything. Can't remember if there's something in this back room. I thought there was like a piece of something you could get here, but maybe not. Let me did. Spend much time on this. Yeah, like original hardware, not just original. Like this is original, but on the Vita, it's not really original hardware. Oh, here I am. I remember you can like walk down this way, but it doesn't like take you anywhere. But you could do it. You're just like a couple pixels on the screen. I wish there was like a shadow mask filter or something where you could get those round pixels that we had, uh, you know, back in the day. Can I get out of here yet? No, I can't get out. Can't get out the door yet. What happens at the end? There's no point to like getting level 99 in that Mako reactor. I mean, it doesn't even make the rest of the game easy necessarily because your other characters aren't leveled up. Which way do we need to go now? Up. Go up. Not doing anything. We just saved our game here. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Yeah, none of this is doing anything. I think I think maybe you go through the little town to like climb back up. I remember that you have to like climb some junk. It's been a while since I played the original. Shinra is locking people in. Isn't that the point? I thought you could go that way. Maybe not. This way? Ah, maybe it's maybe it's this way. And did we already get the? Yeah, we already got that. Here we go. It's the next cussing. Cloud, wasn't it? It's about Eris, isn't it? Aerith. Eris. Sorry, the Shinra have her. I know, they took her from here. 
And they were here? That's what Eris wanted. Why is Shinra after Eris? Eris is an ancient, the sole survivor. What did you say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. Oh, it must have been 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front, some faraway place called Wutai. Yeah, the first game for, um, for thinking of like Dragon Age, first Dragon Age game is really the best. It, and it has a D&D &D system, it has like a D20 system, it's great. One day I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming from home on leave. Amber alert. Oh, Game Sharks. I remember those. I never used one. I had a Game Genie for the SNES and the NES, but never, uh, never used the Game Shark. I don't even remember how they worked exactly. <sighs> Let me just also say that like this game looked so good on a CRT. Like the scan lines help it on a little screen but it, it, this does not look the way it looked back in 1997 or whenever it came out. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. No, I'm sure his leave was just canceled. I went to the station every day. Then one day, Amber <laughs> alert, she's pooping on the bed. I didn't really look at it. Abducted 12 year old. You used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, please take Eris somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child, I was probably lonely. So I decided to take her home with me. Eris and I became very close, became close very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. She told me she escaped from some kind of research laboratory somewhere and that her mother had already returned to the planet so she wasn't lonely and many other things. Yeah, Ocarina of Time looks much better on CRTs than modern displays. It's, it's because of the way pixels, the pixels aren't like these square clearly defined pixels. Like I have a scan line filter on here, but even then it, it only does so much, you know, you really got to get the, uh, like you can really see the dithering. For example, if you look closely on, um, on uh, like the clothes that Cloud has or, or uh, Barrett's back, you can see all this dithering going on. And it's that just wasn't visible on a CRT. It, it just looked looked like the color. It looked correct on a CRT. So if you want to play this, I mean, the easiest way to, to play it now is like something like this. It's hard to get the filter set up so that it looks correct. But if you go back and you play it on a real CRT, you'll see it just looks a lot better. It softens everything. Everything looks more painted. It's just great. And these backgrounds look, look better on the CRT as well. For sure. Yeah, Zach's alive in the remake. What? Yeah, it's a it's like a sequel. It's like a timeline split. Like redoing it. Return to the planet. 
I didn't know what she meant, and asked if she meant a star in the sky. But she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Mom. This is a good little transition there. Please don't cry. Eris just blurted that out all of a sudden when I asked her if something happened. Someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you, but he already returned to the planet. At that time, I didn't believe her. Is Ocarina of Time the best video game ever made? And not in my opinion, but I think it's a good game. I get why a lot of people have like extreme nostalgia for it. But I played through it like the week it came out and it was good. And I've played through it again since then and it's, it holds up. It's never been my favorite Zelda, but it's a good game. You know, it's, there's a reason why it's everybody's favorite. It holds up. But it was that first like big 3D exploration fantasy game. It was one of the, the things that felt like it really could be real. It wasn't just pixels on a screen. So I, I get why people have a really extreme nostalgia for that and for this game. Several days later, we received a notice saying my husband died. And that's how it was. A lot had happened, but we were happy until one day. We want you to return Eris to us. We've been searching for her for a long time. No, never. Eris, you're a very special child. You are of a special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. Of course I heard it, that she was an ancient. The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Eris will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Eris' cooperation. He's wrong, I'm not an ancient, I'm not. But Eris, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone? No, I don't. But I knew, I, I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I never noticed. It's amazing how she's avoided the Shinra for all these years. The Shinra needed her, so I guess they wouldn't harm her. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. On the way here, Tseng found them. She probably couldn't get away fast enough. She decided to go to the Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. It must be Marlene. Marlene! Eris was caught because of Marlene! I'm sorry, Marlene's my daughter. I'm really, really sorry. You're her father. How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I think about it all the time. What would happen to Marlene if I... But you gotta understand something. I don't got an answer. I wanna be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet's gonna die. Now, the reason I asked is I've been playing Wind Waker for a little while. What's your favorite Zelda game? Probably A Link to the Past. Uh, number two, maybe Wind Waker. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But I'm worried about Marlene. I really just want to be with her, always. See, I'm going in circles now. I think I understand what you're saying. She's upstairs asleep. Why don't you go see her? Sigh. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're all right. Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Cloud. You're going to help Eris, right? She's done so much for me. If it's the shimmer you're dealing with, I can't just sit here. I'm coming too. Guess what, guess what? Eris was asking me lots of questions. Like what kind of person Cloud is. I bet she likes you, Cloud. Let's hope so. 
I won't tell Tifa. Looks like I could get some rest here. Sleep. Dun, 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 dun. My fault. That was the one who got Eris involved in this. Don't say that. Eris doesn't think that. You're going after Eris, right? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shinra headquarters. You gotta be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I feel I have to push myself to the limit. If I stayed here, I'll go crazy. Sorry, but you could, can you take care of Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You better be somewhere else. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. How do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Well, let's just go to Wall Market. We might be able to find something there. Sniff, sniff. First there was a rumbling, then cracking, and then kerblam. I was scared stiff. With a lot of commotion. Got the sick guy. Loud outside. I wonder what's happening. We'll think of something. I remember you gotta climb the junk. It's the main thing I remember. Maybe you gotta go this way to climb the junk. I remember. I think we just came this way. What's up with that? I don't care if they're avalanche or avant guard or whatever you call them. Anyone who brings the place down, this is nuts. Oh yeah, there's a kid up here. I'm a big time dealer on Wall Market. Any Final Fantasy games you dislike? I don't know. Depends like how intensely, you know. I don't like Final Fantasy 15 really. 
Uh, but it's mostly like the aesthetics are really bad. I guess I could look it up. And we go to Wall Market. It's getting kind of late here. All right, it's back here. Oh yeah, and then we go up in the corner, and that's where we climb. I don't have to do a bunch of quick time events like in the remake. I was like brutal. I think there's a materia in here somewhere. I don't remember where. Oh, there it is. Sense materia. Okay. Sorry, but I already heard about you. In addition to dressing like a woman, it seems like you like to smash and grind things. We don't let culture customers in. Got it? You better leave. Came down from the sky, but the old guy who likes tanks took all of it away. I wanted some too. Yeah, there is a there's a vibe with the old PS1 games that I I rather like. Let's see. What shop is this? Sit. Okay. Oh, I don't want to eat food here. Let's see what's in here. Is this the medicine guy? I don't need medicine. I think we gotta buy batteries. I think to like get up to the top. Beep blip. 
Whoa. Broken. This is it. Is this pile of trash getting bigger? Yes, I think so. A lot of things came falling down when the Sector 7 pillar fell. Right, right, you're right. The owner of the weapon shop scavenged all the stuff that came falling down. Was well, that why he seems pretty suspicious these days? Oh, you mean he went out to the plate cross section next to the Don's mansion, right? Oh, you know. I wonder what he's doing. Yeah, it gives me the chills. Have you looked into re-uploading right stream number 47? You uploaded the lecture portion, but I'd like to see the Q&A portion again. I have no idea. I don't think I will do that because I've done hundreds of live streams at this point. I, I, and I don't even have copies of all of them, you know? So I don't even probably have a video backup of it. So that's probably gone. I think it was one that I cut it, I cut some stuff out because it was uh, there was some personal information either from me or from someone else. You can buy a mithril, buy a mithril bat, bingo. Why not? This guy have weapons. Can I talk to him? The tank guy. I think maybe we gotta go to the wall first. Oh, it's a delivery. Get right back. Yes, honey bun. It's a hard life being a dog. monitor steam when my wife set it next to mine. Come on, anybody. You gonna come in here? You come in here? Alright. Do what you want, little dog. Alright. Want to see something awesome? Follow me. Everyone climbed up this wire. It looks scary. Brr. Can we climb it? Yeah, it need, leads to the upper world. All right, we climbed this wire. There's no way we can do this. You know how far up it goes? There is a way. Look. What's that look like? Just a normal wire. Oh, yeah? Well, to me, it looks like a golden, shiny wire of hope. You're right, this is the only way to save Eris. Okay, that was a bad analogy, but Barrett, I understand how you feel. Let's go. I think you need batteries to like replace something here. No mercy. Maybe you don't. Scary, huh? Dad told me that's the Shinra's doing. Oh man, this is horrible. Yeah, I think we gotta put in some batteries. If that's right.
happens if we go in here? Don Corneo's place. Is there anyone left in here? I think you can like still go in and loot the place. It's pretty messy. There, I got a phoenix down. There we go. That's nice. Is he still in here? It's that creepy bed. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna bother like going through and re-uploading like random QA's from lectures. It's probably not worth the time to do it. Get like two views. Not, not like a big point to doing that, in my opinion. What's this? Uh, nope, that's the bar. This is the, the gun shop, right? You going up the plate? You better have a battery. You gonna sell me something you just found? Hey, you knew, but I repaired it, so it's all right. Why do I need a battery to climb up to the plate? To find out when you get there. How about a hundred gil for each? All right, I'll take it. All right, now we can do it. Good little music here. This looks so cool. I mean, this looked cool like back in the day for sure. Maybe if I put a battery in, the propeller might work. Guess I'll just have to believe the shopkeeper. Yeah, it looks like a big B-17 propeller. Get a hop. I think you got a hop here. Okay, maybe you can do it right here. Yeah, there you, this is where you can do it. Okay. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Right. Climb this. Need a battery here too. Looks like the only way to jump onto that bar should make it if I jump before it comes too close. There we go.
suit either. Alright. Well, I think we gotta do this part again. Do this. You gotta get it like your guy just right. <laughs> I miss another way down. You know what? There's another there's another cable here. I bet I can climb on this one. There we go. There we go. Alright. Jump too soon. Oh, that's great. There we go. Jump too soon. Jump too late. Was it either really worth having to redo this? to the top here we go there it is big phallus to the sky Hey, you ought to know this building well. Not really, now that I think about it. This is the first time I've ever been to the headquarters. Heard about this place before. Every floor above the 60th is special and not easy to get to, even for employees. Must be where they took care of us. Security's pretty light now. All right, let's go. Wait a second, you're not thinking of just going right through the main entrance, are you? Well, what else does it look like? I'm gonna kick some shit with a button. That's not going to work. We've got to find another way. Ain't gonna be no other way. If we keep wasting time like this, Aerosol. Will... I know that, but if we get caught here. Hey, Cloud, what should we do? Bust on in or sneak in quietly? I think I like to bust in.
I don't think the Shinra building's a big robot. Is it? Let's bust on in. That's more like it. Come on, let's go. It's more XP that way. Do a little bit of the Shinra building here. I think we can go off to the left here and like sneak, sne do sneaky sneak anyway. I don't remember exactly. Hand grenade. It's actually a pretty good animation there that the guy had. I think you can go, is it this way? Yes, you could take like a secret back way in here. Still. Yo, you really gonna take these stairs all the way to the top? I've got to get to Eris to help her somehow. Talk about out of the way. Yo, Tifa, don't go off all alone. We're gonna take the stairs, guys. We're taking the stairs on stream. The long way. Um, actually, you can, uh, the elevator has more boss and, or has more uh, fights, which I think is better maybe, but this this one's funnier. They, I found it really funny they let you take the elevator in the remake. Wait a minute, Cloud. I'm going to take the elevator because I think the stairs are just really boring. Everybody gets tired and complains about the stairs. You could do it in the remake too. It's pretty funny. Excuse me, if you don't have an appointment, you'll just have to... Don't need no appointment. This is an emergency. Anyone who doesn't want to get their face bashed in, better get out of the way. What are your thoughts on Ripaverse? I have no opinion. I don't pay attention. I know that it's like a comic somebody crowdfunded. But I don't pay attention to comics, really, unless it's from a very select few people. Uh, I just hate the drama, and I won't talk about it. What do you think they are? You don't think that's Avalanche? Intruder, seize them! I like doing all the enemy encounters. I think it's more fun. Gameplay instead of, you know. Let's go to the top. Chasing him. Wait, can we go up these stairs? That's kind of fun. If there's any, anything up here, I don't think there is. Let's take the elevator from here. Here we go. What's wrong? I didn't want to start a ruckus till we saved Eris. I should have known that was impossible, though. 
<laughs> I like how people act so casual around giant sword guy and mini hand for a hand, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you got a gun arm there, uh, sir. Yeah. Your, your sword is gigantic and could smash a car in half. What is it? You're giving me the willies. So there are times when even you fight for other people. I am impressed. Who cares if you're impressed? You know I ain't so good at saying this, but sorry for lots of things. What the? Look. Damn. I don't care where, Cloud. Just stop it. Stairs are honestly better because Tifa has one of the best lines in the game there. If you know, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what it is. Hand grenade. It honestly doesn't take longer to go up the stairs than to do this. So you're not really like losing any time by going up the stairs. And you're honestly not losing that much XP either. Stop acting like a retard and climb. There's one more encounter. here. for nothing. Almost there.
Do you believe that there's truth to the Myers-Briggs personality types? Probably some. I know I'm not a heavy believer in that kind of stuff, so. Maybe. I, I don't put a lot of faith in psychology in general. I think as a field, it's mostly a bust. Destroy the intruders! steal anything. Stole a tranquilizer. Cool. I didn't mean to hit that guy with it. this received key item key card 60 these guys again I guess Bolt knocks their armor off, which is cool. Has John Scalzi ever written anything good? I don't know. I've never read a book by John Scalzi. Uh, like, his personality is such a turnoff, I've never bothered to read his work, so. I don't know. I've never read anything, but I have a John Scalzi audiobook that Amazon gave me for free at one point, but, uh... You know. I never... I never... I don't know if he's actually good. Going up the outside elevator now. Is 
the real thing. Don't let your guard down. I hope Eris is alright. Look at it, all them gods is running around. You go on ahead and signal us when it's safe to come. I wonder if there's a safe point on the other side. I think you can just like walk through and like attack them. But we can go around. their little pattern here. Looking through the little guys here. Did they ever come over here? I don't know. Maybe you gotta go in there like walking. Wait for the soldiers to let down their guard, then push the circle button to signal the others. Fun little mini game. Caught me. Prefer to straight fight to all this sneaking around anyway. Find something unnerving about Alan Moore and Grant Morrison's writing? Their occultism seems to find a way in the work a lot. Not really, but you know, I haven't really thoroughly analyzed anything they've done either, so. Look, they're on like roller skates. Roller spin. Big shot. The other thing about Alan Moore is like, <laughs> he writes comics, you know. Oh, come on. How did they see me?
Bolt magic. There we go. Did Alan Moore move to Trad Publishing? I haven't read anything by his. You know, I've only read comics that he did. They're okay. I mean, they're okay for comics. I'm just going to create a save state after this, so that I don't have to do these annoying battles. Can I just do a battle and get past this dumb minigame? Let's try other magic. No, let's uh... Double shot. Moore and Morrison hate each other and have been feuding for years. Apparently they even try to cast hexes on each other and both try to write some comics as a spell on the readers. I got us a few levels. Let's see here. Do this. Settings. Uh, override state. There we go. Then we could just reload it. Save the state again. Overwrite the state. They apparently cast hexes on each other. Part of why Moore and Morrison don't get along is that Moore practices traditional thalemic magic while Morrison is into chaos magic, which Moore sees as poser stuff. They both sound really cringe and stupid to me anyway. Alan Moore looks pretty cringe too. Anytime I see him, I'm like, Dude looks like a cringe lord. Watch, we just do this. Go to uh, this load state. Go to load state. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII is full of these kind of little mini games that are just really stupid. The the tower defense one is like the worst worst defender that I can think of. It's like the worst mini game in the history of games. Actually, I'd say the one trying to get into the parade is probably the worst one in this game. I think it's even. Because the tower defense has gameplay. It's just bad gameplay. Uh, 
Ah. Yeah, Alan Moore just is like a very cringe dude. In general. He just looks like kind of some kind of old sweaty hippie that like really needed to hang it up a long time ago. they move away from these two and you can just go normally. There we go. Okay, we're gonna rock! Remember, we're here to save Eris. Hell, I know that! I'm gonna save that state. <laughs> Not doing that again! Alan Moore even worships the snake god. Oh, it's disgusting. It's stupid. I always knew there was like a reason to, to hate that guy. I don't remember seeing your face before. You new here? Say, you're cute. Let me teach you some things. Things? Wipe that stupid look off your face. I was only going to teach you how to get to the next floor. The higher-ups in the company use the floors above the 60th floor, but you can't get there without a key card. Get a key card and you can use the elevators freely. Voila. You hear that sound and the door's open. Just remember that there are uh, different types of card. One key card alone won't let you go everywhere. For example, key card 60 only takes you to the 60th floor. Key card 65 only takes you to the 65th floor. And it's a security system worthy of Shinra, after all. All the power in Midgar, and the world for that matter, is controlled by them. Oh, oh I have to go. Get back to work. This is the lounge floor. Above us are the special floors for the bigwigs in the company. Stuff working under someone tires you out. I thought I heard a ruckus downstairs a minute ago. Do you know what that was all about? No idea, but no need to worry because everything above the 60th floor is safe. What's keeping her? Did she forget her key card? Even employees can't walk around above the 60th floor without a key card. The hell are you? What are you doing around here? Where's Eris? Eris, how do you know that name? You must be... Eris, you mean that kid, the receptionist? Yeah, I was starting to worry about her myself. And so another rival appears on the scene, eh? You mean she's not? It's someone else? I think we gotta go up here to get a key card. Yeah, we can't open this one. We gotta go up a few floors. This music does get a bit boring, I can tell you that much. Here we go. Locked. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. Stole carbon bangle. Ooh. Yeah, Frank Miller seems eccentric, but he's downright normal compared to Alan Moore. Alan Moore, every time you see him, it looks like he's just about to like fall dead. This looks like he's like coming off a bender and gonna die of like alcohol poisoning. I guess this is as far up as we can go. Gotta get some kind of key card. 
They don't mind skin color, dress code, sword length, or barrels for fingers. So professional. They're very accepting of their diverse workforce, including gun arms and people with giant swords. down to 60. Oh no, we can escape from there. Let me see if there's a key card in here somewhere. Remember where you get the key card. She just tells you what's up. Be what you call it. Chin rank repair division. You know, it looks like this building is starting to fall apart. This door was just pushed open. You ought to fix this right away. Oh, yeah. Take a look on the other floors, too. I'll give you this. Alright. Then we can go up to the next floor. I do like the atrium in the game. I like the aesthetics of the game. I think they still hold up. Construction chart. It's a science, scientific research library. Materials for the Urban Development Library, Peace Weapon Division Library, Space Development Library are held in their respective libraries. Imagine your cyber tech, like your cyber dystopia, has like libraries with books sitting on the shelf. Isn't that funny? Let me stop and think about it. How are you? This is the Midgar Mayor's office. Mayor Domino is in his office. I'm the deputy mayor. If you should have any questions, feel free to ask me. Mm, oh, and who might you be? You must all be those uh, me. I'm Domino, the mayor of Midgar. Actually, I'm mayor in name only. The city and everything in it is really run by Shinra, Inc. My only real job is watching over Shinra's documents. Me, the mayor, a librarian, oh. You want to get upstairs? I'll tell you what. If you can guess the password, I'll give you my key card. Yes, that's it. Guess the password and I'll give you my key card. Get it on the first try and I'll even throw in a special item. I'm trying to remember what it what it is. New plans for urban Nigar. I'm trying to remember how you guess it. Forbidden to move any materials from this floor. Oh! There's a more libraries. Material production and its military uses. Heidegger Shinra peacekeeping law. Economic report. Anti Shinra activities. I don't remember what the clues are. I think it maybe is just guessing. <sighs> I 
Did you speak with the mayor? Password, oh, I get it. He's got way too much time on his hands. But you can't really blame him. Everything in Midgar is controlled by President Shinra. Maybe I can help you. What do you want to know? Sure, sure, all right. As a public servant, it's my job to serve the needs of the people. So here's a hint. For 500 gil. Forget it. I see, then I guess that's that. Good luck finding it on your own. If you still can't find it, I'll just be right over here ready to tell you anytime. I think if these are out of order, it gives you a clue. So you go and read these. Diminishing Mako Energy, 15. One. So like that one's that one's gone. One, two, and this one's out of out of order. Fifth, 17. Oh no, never, never mind. Diminishing there's two in each in each row. I remember the clues. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it the cheap way. I'm gonna overwrite the state. All right. Got it? Then tell me. Let's try makeup. Nope. We'll just guess a different one. Hey bud, what's up? What you guys up to? Where'd you guys go to? Oh, we went to Chick-fil-A. There's a huge plate. You didn't get, there. did you get me Chick-fil-A? No. You didn't bring back Chick-fil-A for me. Sorry. But Why didn't you a, think of your dad? But there was a huge play place there. Yeah, did you have fun? Yeah, people kind of went bananas when, when it was close for us to go. Yeah, they went bananas, huh? Yes. What, what, how did they go bananas? So you see, this guy was returning that they like this thing is supposed to be a spaceship and he was like, no, it's my, my room. And, and me and my friend were like, no, it's a spaceship. But then, and then, and then, and then, he's, and then he like runs away and then he's like screaming and a bunch I love of the sun stuff. Back. Bomb, I'm so angry. I'm like a bot time bomb waiting to explode. So the kids were acting bad and so you left? No, they weren't acting bad. They just, they just went crazy. We Never thought not. you'd get it on the first try. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover. Oh, well, a promise is a promise. Take this, too. Got elemental materia. To mess with them, of course. Shimmer's been torturing me forever. That's why I was a little rough on you just now. Now go up there and really make them suffer. It's not to make us even. <laughs> All right, so now we can go to floor 65. Is this a bad guy place? Mm hmm. We're in the Shinra lab here. What do I have in here? Cover will be elemental. And. I think we can equip uh, the carbon mangle. And we'll do cover. Been to Waffle House yet? Nope. But there are Waffle Houses. About what time is it? It's about time to probably hang up the stream here. We've been doing this for three hours. Apparently, I can go through here. Item. Key items. I have a 62 and a 60. But the 60. Five one works on 63, that's weird. But maybe you can't get past any of these doors. Don't 
Don't enter the air conditioning ducts recklessly. They are very dangerous. I think there's a save game thing up there. Of course, I could always just like do a cheap save. 64, can I go through? Oh, I can go up here too. Well, that's something. Let's get some rest in the nap room. <laughs> what year is this? It's 2022. All right. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it for me today. So uh, I will say farewell to D and because uh, we've done this for a while. I'll probably stream on Friday this week. I don't know though. Um, so Friday maybe to do the Saturday stream because I got to go to that funeral. So that's what's up with that. Um, I will see you guys next time and uh, have a great, there's my dog. You guys have a great day.